Welcome to Jebby TV. Facts on Tuesday emerged about our Nigerian ambassador to the Pinu Republic, Lieutenant General Toku Bratai, retired, was instrumental to the arrest of the Yoruba nation activist, Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igbuhu, a top security source in the Bene Republic confi confided in the punch that the former chief of army staff wrote the uh, government of the small West African country and insisted on the arrest and extradition of Ibuhu. It was gathered that Buratai was at the front forefront for the ongoing move of extradites of the activists. A few hours after Igbo's arrest on Monday, his uh, Benisi's lawyer and other experts met with some Benin Republic government officials and called for the halting of his extradition. Buratai, Nigeria's chief of army staff between July 2015 and January 2021, was deployed as Nigerian's convoy in the Benin Republic in June 2021. Before then, the President, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired, had presented Bratai's nominations to the Senate and the Upper Chamber of the National Assembly, had confirmed the ex coas nomination. Ex okay. Before then, the President, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired had presented Bratai's nomination to the Senate and the upper chamber of the National Assembly had confirmed the ex cohas nomination despite public outcry of some crimes against humanity, humanity allegedly committed by the, by the Nigerian army under Bratai's leadership. A top security source in Benin Republic who spoke to one of our correspondents said that the Buratai through the Nigerian embassy in the small West African country sent a secret letter to the Benin government to be on the lookout for Yibuhu. The punch gathered that the letter as uh, instrumental to the arrest of Yibuhu was instrumental to the arrest of Yibuhu and his wife, Roku, at the uh, Kadeon Airport in Kotonou, the largest city in the French-speaking country, recalled that three weeks ago, the Department of State Service declared Igbo wanted for allegedly stockpiling harms and allegation he had since denied. Before then, the DSS on July 1, 2021, raided his house at Soka area in Ibadan killing two of his aides and arresting 12 others. Later that day, the DSS spokesman, Peter Afonaya, at a press briefing in Abuja, raided Igbo's associates and detained them thereafter, denying them access to their lawyers and not, charging, and not charging them to court. The DSS also paraded some passports AK-47 rivaled uh, rounds of ammunition Africa bulletproof vests among others as exhibits the secret police claimed that the items were recovered from Igbo's house during the bloody raid the federal government subsequently placed the Nigeria immigration service that the Nigerian customs service on a lot to stop Igbo from leaving the country. It was gathered that government uh, beef beefed the up security at Iwajowa, Saki West, and Ibarapa local government areas of Oyo State, which were adjoining area to the Bini Republic. Igbo who rose to prominence in January 2021 after he issued an ultimatum to killer Edsman in parts of Ibarapa land was said to have escaped the security 
apparatus in the areas to the Bene Republic where he was scheduled to catch a flight to Germany. According to a top uh, source familiar with the matter, the Nigerian government foresaw the possibility of Igbo flying to Europe through Bene Republic and planted uh, a landmine for him where their true Buratai. The source said Igboho was arrested in Kotonu on Monday night while he tried to travel. He was already at the airport with a passport. The immigration officer suspected the passport and so they stopped him in the process. They discovered he was the one. He was able to escape in the course of discussion and he were and we were grateful to God for that. Wow. So another this is another 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 top story coming up right now that uh Sunday Adiyama uh was actually his his arrest was instrumental or was arranged by Buratai, uh, which was the former uh, top security agency in Nigeria. And then we saw that uh, they are working on his extradition. That is a way by which he will be handed over back to the Nigerian government for prosecution. Uh, this is actually um, what we are getting now as the update about Sunday Adeyemi Buhu. Really, we all know that Sonia Adeyemi Buhu is not a criminal, okay? But he has been declared as a political criminal. Why? Because they are now bringing up some some bad uh, some allegations against him that he has he has talks of of ammunition in his house and a whole lot of other things. Okay, that is is against the peace of the country. Really? Okay. Let's see how this goes because yesterday we we had in in the news that Yoruba leaders had risen up. They they are rising up to the case to fight for Sunday Adeyemi such that he would not be extradicted. You know, he will not he will, he will not be handed over to Nigerian government for, prosecu- for prosecution. And so we are hearing that uh, the, the Yoruba leaders Egbe Omo Odua and Co. They are. You know, coming up to stand in that case for Sunday Adiyama Igboho. And we also saw that Sunday Adiyama Igboho's lawyer uh, already has started advocating for him, you know, on the fact that he is not a criminal and he doesn't deserve to be treated as one. So let's watch and see how this ends. Let's see what comes up after this whole thing. All right. Thanks for coming back to check on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. And we say thank you once again. Bye for now.